हेलो एवरी वन वेन वी थिंक ऑफ डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स इन विच लाइफ अकर्स ऑन अर्थ वी सी दैट देर आर वेराइटी ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड प्लांट्स ऑल अराउंड अस सम आर वेरी स्मॉल सम आर वेरी लार्ज वेन वी कैरेक्टराइज ऑल दिस ऑर्गेनिजम्स वी एंड अप क्लासीफाइंग दैम इन टू ग्रुप्स सो टूडे लेट अस डिस्कस समथिंग मोर रिलेटेड टू दिस इन आर लेसन डाइवर्सिटी इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स need for classification of living organisms living organisms have evolved on the earth over millions of years there is a vast variety of living organisms living organisms show a wide range of variations some microscopic bacteria are a few micrometers in size and some like whales and redwood trees are about 30 meters and 100 meters in size Some pine trees live for thousands of years while insects like mosquitoes die within a few days. Some organisms are colorless and even transparent and some are brightly colored. To understand and study all these organisms is impossible if they are arranged into different groups based on their similarities in characteristics even it is easier to study the different groups as a whole. So classification of living organisms The arranging of organisms into different groups on the basis of the similarities in their characteristics is called classification of living organisms. Basis of classification. Five kingdom system of classification has been suggested by H Whitaker. Whitaker has based his classification scheme of the following three levels of organization. the prokaryotic versus eukaryotic structure of cells the unicellular versus multicellular or multinucleate organization modes of nutrition photosynthesis absorption from the environment and indigestion classification and evolution the present day complex living organisms have evolved from the earlier simple forms due to the changes in their body designs over millions of years The body designs of living organisms are gradually changing due to the changes in the environment and the need to adapt themselves to the changes in the environment. Some group of organisms having ancient body designs have not changed much during evolution and have simple forms and structure. These organisms are called primitive or lower organisms. Some organisms have acquired their body designs relatively recently and have complex forms and structure. These organisms are called advanced or higher organisms. The hierarchy of classification groups. Living organisms have been broadly classified into five main kingdoms. They are Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia. Each kingdom has further classified into smaller subgroups at various levels as kingdom phylum for plants division for animals then class order family genus species by arranging organisms on the basis of hierarchy and characteristics into smaller and smaller groups we arrive at the basic unit of classification called species Species is a group of organisms which are similar enough to breed and perpetuate. The five kingdom classification of living organisms are as shown. Now let us discuss this in more detail. Monera. They are mostly prokaryotic, unicellular, do not have a definite nucleus, may or may not have cell wall and the mode of nutrition is autotrophic or heterotrophic. Example bacteria, blue green algae, cyanobacteria, 
माइकोप्लाज्मा एक्सेट्रा प्रोटिस्टा दे आर यूकैरियोटिक यूनिसेलुलर मोस्टली एक्वेटिक सम हैव सीलिया और फ्लैजेला विच हेल्प दैम इन मूविंग एंड द मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन मे बी ऑटोट्रॉफिक और हेटरोट्रॉफिक एग्जाम्पल आलगे डायटम्स प्रोटोजोन्स एक्सेट्रा फंगाई दे आर यू कैरियोटिक यूनिसेलुलर और मल्टी सेल्युलर दे डो नॉट हैव क्लोरोफिल एंड कैन नॉट प्रिपेयर दियर ओन फूड एंड आर हेटरोट्रॉफ्स दे यूज डिकेइंग ऑर्गेनिक मैटर एज फूड एंड सो आर कॉल्ड सेप्रोफाइट्स सम ऑफ दैम लीव इन एसोसिएशन विद आलगे दे आर कॉल्ड लाइकन्स एग्जाम्पल ईस्ट एसफेरगिलस पेनिसम अगारिकस लाइकन्स एक्सेट्रा प्लांटे दे आर मल्टी सेल्युलर यू कैरियॉर्स हैविंग सेल वॉल्स दे यूज क्लोरोफिल फॉर फोटो सिंथिस All plants are included in this group. They are divided into five groups. They are Thallophyta, Bryophyta, Pteridophyta, Gymnosperms and Angiosperms. Animalia. They include all organisms which are multicellular eukaryotes without chlorophyll and cell walls. They are heterotrophs. They are divided into 10 groups. They are Porifera Cilentrata, Plethelminthes, Nematoda, Annelida, Arthropoda, Mollusca, Echinodermata, Protocordata, and Vertebrata. Classification of plants plantae. Plants are divided into five groups. They are Thallophyta, Bryophyta, Pteridophyta, Angiosperms, and Gymnosperms. first one thallophyta in this group the plants do not have well differentiated body parts the plants are called algae they are mostly aquatic example spirogyra ulothrix cladophora chera etc bryophyta in this group the plant body is differentiated into stem and leaf like structures but there are no specialized structures for the conduction of water and other substances from one part of the plant body to the other these plants are called the amphibians of the plant kingdom example moss marchantia risia etc pteridophyta In this group the plant body is differentiated into roots stem and leaves and has vascular tissue for conducting water and other substances from one part of the plant body to the other example ferns mycelia etc gymnosperms or cryptogams the plants of this group bear naked seeds they are usually perennial evergreen and woody example pines cycas etc angiosperms or phanerogams the plants of this group bear covered seeds they are also called flowering plants the plant embryo in the seed have cotyledons angiosperms are divided into two groups on the basis of the number of cotyledons plants with seeds having single cotyledon are called monocots example rice wheat maize etc plants with seeds having two cotyledons are called dicots example green gram peas tamarind etc classification of animals animals are divided into 10 groups they are porifera cilentrata plethelminthes nematoda annelida arthropoda mollusca Echinodermata, Protocordata, and Vertebrata. Porifera. They are aquatic, non-motile animals attached to some solid support. They have pores all over the body, forming a canal system which helps to circulate water and bring food and oxygen. They have a hard outer skeleton and do not have any tissues. Example: Spongyla, Cycon. Euplectalia, etc. Cilentrata. They are aquatic animals. There is a cavity in the body called coelom. The body has two layers of cells. 
an outer layer and an inner layer some live in colonies and others are single example corals hydra jellyfish sea anemone etc platyhelminthes they have a flat body which is bilaterally symmetrical they have three layers of cells and are called triploblastic they do not have through body cavity they may be free living or parasitic example planaria that is free living liver fluke and tapeworm that is parasitic nematoda they have cylindrical body the body is bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic they do not have through body cavity and they have tissues but no real organs they are parasitic example ascaris roundworms or eucheraria pinworms etc annelidia their body is bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic they have through body cavity their body is segmented and its differentiation of organs is present they are found in water and on land example earthworm nereis leech etc arthropoda they have bilaterally symmetrical body the body is segmented they have an open circulatory system the body cavity is filled with blood they have jointed legs example brown crab cockroach spider scorpion butterfly housefly centipede etc mollusca they have bilateral symmetry the coelomic cavity is reduced there is little segmentation they have open circulatory system and kidney like organs for excretion they have feet for moving around example snails mussels cyton octopus etc echinodermata they are spiny skinned organism they are free living marine animals they are triploblastic and have coelomic cavity they have water filled tube feet which help in movement they have hard skeleton made of calcium carbonate example starfish sea urchin feather star sea cucumber etc protochordata they have bilateral symmetry and are triploblastic they have coelomic cavity they have a notochord which is long rod like structure along its back to which muscles are attached and help in movement example balenoglossus amphioxus hardimania etc vertebrata they have vertebral column and internal skeleton they have bilateral symmetry and are triploblastic they have coelomic cavity their body is differentiated into tissues and organs their body consists of four regions head neck trunk and tail they have two pairs of fins or limbs the respiration in aquatic forms is by gills and in land forms the respiration is by lungs the sexes are separate vertebrates are grouped into five classes they are basis amphibia reptilia apes and mammalia basis that is fishes they are fishes living in water their skin is covered with scales or plates they respire using gills they have streamlined body and fins which help them to move in water they are cold blooded and their heart has only two chambers they lay eggs from which the young ones hatch out some fishes have skeleton made up of cartilage like sharks rays etc and some have skeleton made up of bones and cartilage like tuna rohu etc amphibia they are found in land and water they do not have scales but have mucus glands on their skin they are cold blooded and the heart is three chambered respiration is through gills or lungs they lay eggs in water example frogs toads salamanders etc reptilia they have scales and breathe through lungs they are cold blooded most of them have three chambered heart but crocodiles have four chambered heart they lay eggs with hard covering in water example snakes turtles lizards crocodiles etc aves that is birds they are warm blooded animals 
they have four chambered heart they breathe through lungs they have an outer covering of feathers their two four limbs are modified into wings for flying they lay eggs example crow sparrow pigeon duck stork ostrich etc mammalia they are warm blooded animals they have four chambered heart they have mammary glands for production of milk to nourish their young ones the skin has hairs and sweat glands most of them give birth to their young ones some of them lay eggs example cat rat dog lion tiger whale bat humans etc so this was all about our lesson diversity in living organisms studying about this is very important as it provides us the natural groupings of living things also we can study various taxonomy of different species thank you students